although vaccines are still the right treatment to prevent the onset of virus which causes the disease. In many cases, it can still occur and this is mostly due to vaccine failure. For this reason, it is important to reinforce the vaccines with natural remedies to aid the entire poultry bed's immune system. Vaccines are made to boost birds' immunity and not as a curative approach. On this thought, different drugs of choice are used once farmers notice this infection among its flocks. Use of synthetic drugs are usually expensive coupled with the residual effects. Hence, use of herbal medication has become top-notch as they have no side effects and are re relatively cheap and available. On this video, I will give three best herbal remedy of choice for the control of Newcastle disease. I also give different ways as you can use to tackle it depending on your available resources or natural ingredients in your locality. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. We will discuss farming in details. I remain your uncle Ishokri Ovokeroni. You can call me Ovorans and I sincerely appreciate all my old and new subscribers and to those that share my videos, you guys are awesome. Please, if this is your first time of coming across my video you are welcome kindly click the subscribe button and the bell icon to turn on notification anytime i upload a new video please don't forget to like share and drop your questions in the comment section without wasting your time let's dive into the main cocoa because Newcastle disease being a viral disease could be difficult to control and due to changing times, farmers are opting for organic medication. This quest has led to various research of use of plants as antiviral or antibacterial and one of such that will effectively control Newcastle disease are listed in the course of this video. They are very popular and readily available. Before I go further, one major reason I love most of this herbal medication is that they are known to have dual purpose which I will reveal in the course of this video. The first herbal plant that I want to discuss about and how to use it is aloe vera. This is simple. All you need to do is to pluck your aloe vera leaf and slice out the green part. You can then use spoon to scoop out the juice or gel. You need to mix very well to have a consistent solution. Better still, you can use a blender to make it smoother. After this process, you will then withdraw your water from your beds for 30 to 45 minutes before giving the mixture which is about 1 to 1.5 ml per liter of water. This could be administered for 5 to 7 days or better still the mortality reduces. Another way to administer the mixture is to blend the whole leaf including the green part. You then sieve it and mix it with sweetener such as molasses or sugar because it has a bitter taste. Talking about sugar, please if you are yet to watch my video on how to use sugar for your beds and other benefits, make sure to use the link I will drop in the description box to watch it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share for others to benefit. One secret about aloe vera is that it can also serve as antibiotics and natural growth promoter which I will drop the video to the link in the description box. Then the second one I want to talk about is garlic. Garlic is a wonder helps when it comes to poultry farming. For control of Newcastle, it can be used in three ways which include via their feed, via water and a third one which will surprise you is as a disinfectant. Don't worry because I will give you details on how to use them for feed for it to be very effective you can use 2 kg per ton of feed or to those of us that do buy feed you can measure the in powder form 50 grams to 25 kg of feed then for drinking water it can be used as one clove to four liters of water then to the other one which is as a disinfectant this is very effective in in farm where there is reoccurring outbreak of newcastle disease it should be used as disinfectant of poultry or brooding pen and before the arrival of sheep at two weeks and repeated again at one week with high concentration this measurement could be achieved by crushing one to two 
too close to one liter of water. Iodine tincture of one mil to one liter should be added. After washing of pen, this mixture should be used lastly on the pen and equipment. To know other beneficial use of garlic, the wonder herb, especially as growth promoter, you can check out the link in the description box. Please give me a like if you haven't. Thanks. And before I forget, please subscribe. The third one is onion garlic mixture. These two have very strong antiviral properties. This combo is best achieved when both are crushed to get a smooth paste at 1 gram each which is mixed with 5 ml of honey or molasses. Once this is done, the mixture should be poured into a container and covered with a light cloth. It should be kept overnight before usage the next day. This mixture can be given at 2 to 3 ml per liter of drinking water for five to seven days. This is very effective for the control of Newcastle disease. And now to the bonus point which is the reason why I always love these herbal remedies. But before I tell you, please, if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly click the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss subsequent upload. Also like, share and drop your questions in the comments section. And the most important thing I love about this herbal product is that they act as antibiotics, as antiviral, some even act as disinfectant and they also act as growth promoters with no residue. Thank you very much. You can click the screen right now to watch my playlist on organic farming. Thank you. See you in my next video. Peace out.